Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Where is that book in there? Get rid of that. There we go. Uh, we're back for another. I've got a texture pack. I do apply. I know it says vanilla, but I tried to get the um, oh, what's it called? What's it called? GGL shaders or whatever it is. But without my go-to guy, um, Marcus, I am pretty much um, completely. Upley, but so the water looks a lot better. I, I just think it looks more clean, and I guess it's because I'm used to it. I just couldn't deal with the, the normal texture pack. It bugs it. Oh great. Um, I haven't got a home. That's what she said. Right, I've been doing a little bit, a bit of it. So we need some. We're gonna make sure it's not on peaceful. So I have been messing about. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. options, yes it is, normal. Right, so I had some trouble as well because for some unknown reason with this texture pack and I was trying to, the uh, other mods and stuff, uh, my frame rate went down to fucking three frames per second and the beast of a PC like mine, well I wouldn't say it's a beast beast but it, it's, it's okay, it is quite good. Right, I've got all that. Um, I also need the hoe. There's the hoe. Right. There we go. Right, we'll do this, this, this. It's, it's important that I get the... Um, the gibby jibby 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 done. Okay. Well, I just thought... I've got all this stuff here. Okay, I've got more more um, trees growing that I've got no cows so if I've got no cows you know you need leather um, I'm pretty much screwed because there's no leather around here so it means I'm gonna have to have a trip to the mainland um, I know roughly where where it is I don't know why it's doing all these new things but Oh great, these are all combined. I didn't want that. Right, I promised on uh, Facebook that I would talk about my army. Oh, I'm not going to talk about all of my army career because I don't really want to. Um, but I'll talk about what I was uh, and what I did um, briefly uh, for a time. I'm sure there's nothing there. Um, in the army I was um, in a section, there was only eight of us. A section is like a group of men within a company of other men. Um, and my job was war graves registration. You're thinking, what the hell is that? Basically, it's a repatriation of deceased bodies. Um, you could say a kind of morgue. That was my job. Now I was not a comp combat infantryman or anything like that. I um, basically went in war-torn areas or um, places where they had accidents, and our job, well, eight of them, and I was in charge of the eight of the people. Quite a feat for a 19-year-old at the time, um, and my job was basically to. I don't identify the people, uh, bag them, bag and tag we used to call the basic, it, um, anything that was distinguishable because there was a lot of um, people shall we say, even friends of mine, um, that we had to identify by the, between the dog tags and stuff like that or distinguishing marks and stuff like that that we knew was in that area. Um, and then we would um, get their dog tags if we could, tie them to their toes, obviously they're all deceased. And uh, which I just basically went ev anywhere where some kind of accident went. There is an actual story that I will tell. Um, as a, In 1964 there was a helicopter went down, I think it was a Chinook, I can't, I can't, be, I can't actually remember, this is a long time ago. Um, 
with eight SAS on board and they were perished, died and the British Army at the time in 1964 could not be asked. This is the truth is could not be bothered to spend the money to go and um, retrieve the bodies or search for survivors. So we were sent in 96, I think it was 96, um, to find them. They knew roughly where it went down and we were, eight of us were told, right, it's in the middle of the jungle in Belize, these are the rough coordinates, go and find it. Uh, we spent about three and a half months in there. It was in the middle of the jungle. We didn't really have much jungle training <laughs> at all. We were all quite green. Uh, there were good friends of mine that I'd known near enough all the way through basic training, so we had a good camaraderie at the time. I need some oil. I will finish on with the story. That'd be enough. I just want to get this done. I'll, s I'll just talk and get nothing done. Um, I'm sure I've got a bit of iron. Yeah, and then we'll go straight down and we'll we'll dig. I, I think we'll just dig. It's going to be easier for me to, ex to talk then. Right. I'll grab that and we'll grab a stone one. In fact, we're going to do a couple because we're going to need it. I can use the iron. Alright, we'll go down. I have dug a bit more. Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh, food. Alright, there we go. Um, <clears throat> actually, I lost my train of thought now. I should have just carried on. We were um, basically sent to Belize to find these people uh, and we actually, after about three, four weeks, we came across just a wreck of a plane. It wasn't touched, it was obviously overgrown. Um, there were locals that were hostile, very hostile, didn't want us anywhere near it. Um, but obviously we were given our orders that we needed to go and retrieve them. So we scouted around for about three, four weeks. Um, obviously um, having stuff um, placed around while we were asleep. Obviously we had people on guard and stuff. But the locals really didn't like us um, at all. In fact, they were more interested in causing us a harm than us actually recovering our fallen comrades, as such. Uh, we managed to find a ton of bones that we, obviously, we hadn't got the knowledge to see who they were or all they weren't. But we found about, I think it was around about six skeletons. Obviously, they weren't totally all there because animals had eaten them and it's been a long time and decomposition blah 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 um, and we basically bagged and tagged I'm just trying to think what what did I come up to torches uh, I don't need I don't really want to take all this stuff because no my luck I will die and I don't want to die um, so we we recovered and it was like near enough time to get out we had to have a, a memorial in Hong Kong as well to the fallen and um, the relatives were all there of the people but we came across um, a few of the locals who as I said didn't want us there and as we were about to leave, we heard shots, gunfire, 
all around us. Um, there was only eight of us. All we had was side arms. Uh, the brownie nine millimeter. That was it. That was all we were given. Um, we didn't even have our SA80s as the uh, the weapon of the choice of the English army. I, I'm just going to take this down. And a friend of mine got shot and fatally wounded. Um, obviously, being the section commander, it was my responsibility for my men. Um, I wasn't. We weren't equipped for the journey, uh, along with a firefight as well. Um, we ended up fighting our way out. Um, two of my section died, or was killed. I ended up carrying one of my good friends who I'd known since training um, about 35 miles on my back, along with all my pack and all his pack and all of his belongings and stuff like that. Um, just to try and get us out of there while firing my weapon to try and get us out of the, the situation which really wasn't very nice whatsoever um, oh I didn't want to do that that and to top it all off I was a sergeant at that time and I didn't get busted the busted means uh, when you're reduced in rank and you're either fined or blah 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 because of incompetence or stuff like that but um, because I was a section commander obviously it was my responsibility to keep my so it was a massive inquiry it was all hush hush it was never exposed to any of the um, the families which I think was disgusting um, which I made my point known and anybody who knows me knows that, you know, if you're a dick, you're a dick. Um, my section commander, who was a lieutenant at the mo at the time, who was just straight out of Sandhurst, um, wouldn't back me up at all. So I ended up knocking him out. Actually, I just punched him once because I was so angry at the fact that he wouldn't back me up. So I got um, reduced in rank from a sergeant to a private. Um, and taking on anger counselling <laughs> I was actually a, a step away from Colchester and Colchester's not nice it's called the glass house for a reason um, but that time I was quite a rebel I really didn't give two fucks about anyone or anything so that is one story that I will probably never repeat that's it I, I know it's I haven't really done much for this but that's it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.